Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl, I'm Sally. For today's video, I want to build with you a book nook that I purchased a little while ago. So this one I got from Amazon um, and I will put a link down in the description if I can still find it because as I said I did buy it maybe one to two years ago and it's from Cute Bee. It doesn't have uh, what code it is there but that's the code there. But as I say, if I can find the link, I will share it gladly. And it is a DIY book nook. So I haven't done one of these before. So I thought it would be fun to share it with you on the channel. Um, I'll talk for a little bit, um, but then for the rest of it, I'll probably do it as a time lapse rather than talk through each stage. But let's check out what comes in the box. So first of all, there's your instruction book. Oh, there you go. There's your code. So it's a DIY wooden book nook YS06. And it's um, a Japanese theme Sakura one. Probably, if you've been a long time viewer of the channel, you probably know how much I love uh, the Japanese things and sakuras. So whenever I get things like this, mostly it will have that sort of thing to it. So just a quick flick through the book. It's giving you your instructions on how to pop things together. And this one is not a click together one like the roll off one. This one is a glue one. So another good reason to do it as a time lapse because I'm not quite sure how fast the glue dries. If it's like a super glue or you've got to wait a little while but um, that just gives you a flick through to show you how to put it all together. Uh, so it does look like it's in the two languages but most of it looks like it's just yeah there's a few bits and pieces where wording is used but most of it looks like it's just images so that shouldn't be an issue doesn't really say that what tools you need so i guess i'll work that out as i go along looking at the bits and pieces that's your lights obviously there and it looks like there's some stickers like um double-sided tape you've got your bits and pieces so here they are i'll open this up on camera while i'm talking with you and then um i'll probably move to a time lapse so let's have a look these are all your pieces i love the book nooks i've been seeing so many of them and i wanted to build one for a while and as i said i purchased this a while ago but the good thing with me cleaning up my old craft hovel, I found all of my miniatures and I am so keen to start building them. So looking at these would be your outside pieces and that's obviously where you attach pieces onto. So beautiful. Awesome. I'll just move these to the side here. So that's your obvious frame for your book nook. Love the image on it. Really pretty. And these are your bits and bobs. Definitely, um, now that I've opened it, a very uh, heavy wood smell. Not a bad smell. Um, it, it doesn't smell chemically like you can get with some things. It smells very wooden, so I'm happy with that. Uh, and you obviously just pop all your bits out as you need them uh, from the sheet. But they look really nicely detailed. So I don't think I'll be doing any sort of changing or adjusting to these. I Like with my miniatures, the other miniatures, I bought the cheap uh, ones I got from like AliExpress and other places that sell the cheaper miniature kits. I want to actually eventually do them, like customise them to be more grungy or murder scene type things <laughs> or horror themes. So I will be uh, doing that with the cheaper kits but this one I'm not going to change in any way shape or form like I, I've got to build a few as they're intended to be built so I can learn the skills and pick up some tips and tricks that way um but yeah so that will be stuff that I'll be showing on the channel for sure but this all looks really cool and interesting and I think I now have looked at all of the bits and pieces so yep now I'm going to switch over to doing a speed build of actually putting this all together. It looks pretty straightforward, but 
I have not done one before. Uh, the only thing I have I've noticed is missing is the glue. Hmm. So maybe you had to provide your own glue. Because what's in here, we definitely don't have glue. This is definitely the lights. Oh, and, and you get a little sander, like a nail file, if you need to sand your edges when you pop them out. Of yeah, that's definitely lights, and that's definitely like stickers. Um, yeah, no glue. So I'm going to have to go and find some glue. I've got plenty of glues, but uh, yeah, you didn't get one with the kit.
So I'm coming back to talk just to show you this piece H5. This piece there is like a um, one of the fish flags. Uh, when I took it out of the sheet it completely ripped apart as you can tell. Um, so I'm going to have to try and resurrect it. Like hopefully be able to glue it back together. It just this part here was so flimsy that when I took, you know, I was trying to maneuver it, as I said, just completely ripped and all the fish fell off. So it's not going to look that good. On the piece, it's meant to fit onto this piece about here. So I'm going to try, yeah, put it together. A bit pissed off, I'll be real. I mean, think partly I could be a bit rough and also it seemed to be very stuck in there. Because I also think it, it's got to, like, be sticking out. It doesn't lie flat. If it lied flat, I wouldn't mind so much. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just very messy uh, with the super glue, as I think most people are with super glue. I am sticking my fingers all the time. That's fine. That happens. You can see how dirty they're getting from uh, being super glued together. And I'm trying to do it holding it up rather than lying it down because then it will just stick to the paper that I got down here. And you would notice too that I did change the actual backdrop from the nice white one I had at the beginning to this blue one because this blue one, oh, see, look, <laughs> fuck it, falling apart. Um, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, this blue one is the one I use for crafting a lot, so it is a lot dirtier. It doesn't want to stick together. I think that bit went like there. Oh my god, I'm really annoyed with this. I don't even have a clue how that part goes. Oh my god, and the tweezers just want to throw it around. Maybe there, like so? I have no idea. This is going to be one of them wabi-sabi occasions. Um, oh god, and I just broke that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you hear definitely lots of beep in this part, because this is... <laughs> I think it also is telling me to give it a break. I've been working consistently for a couple of... Look, now it's stuck to the freaking... Which is exactly what I did. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think that this is telling me it's time to have a break. So I think I'm going to have some lunch. I've been working on this for probably about two hours. I think I've got two hours worth of footage so far that I will be obviously doing as a time lapse or a speed build, whatever you call them. Oh my God, just get on there. Yeah, it's gonna look ugly and broken, but as I was saying before, <laughs> I just completely distracted myself. It's gonna look a bit wabi-sabi, which if you don't know what that is, um, I'll put a little definition up here for you. I'm meant to go there. So let's just see how we go now, okay? It looks like it's holding. I'm going to put extra gollop of super glue there. I'm going to put it there. It's not flat now because like I've had to glue it together so it's a bit wonky. Just give the super glue some time to hold. So the battery ran out on top of everything else that went wrong with this, <laughs> this section. So um, yeah, I finished it off uh, off camera because Obviously, as I said, the battery ran out. But what I did was attach that bit, that bit, and I think this bottom section. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Uh, the little fishy, I think I moved, I put it too far down, but it did eventually stick. I put it a bit too far down, so I ended up having to cut the end part off anyway so that I could put the roof on. So yeah, <laughs> this section was a bit there. But that is the two wall sections done. I mean, I like the look of it so far. It is uh, looking quite good. I'm just a bit rough and clumsy and that's why things have happened.
Okay, I've come back a bit earlier than expected to do some more talking um, because assembling this is driving me insane. Um, now, I'm up to, well, I'm doing these steps here, as you can see. Very, very fidgety. Now, I did make one mistake, admittedly. I, for this step, I put those uh, sidebars on the wrong way around so that the one with the hole for me was on this side and the one with the tabs to attach it to the back piece, which is here, is on that side. So I completely stuffed that up. The bit I'm talking about, as you can see, the hole there should be on the inside because uh, that's where the wires go so as you can see where it should be completed there uh, those bits filled in with like a snug fit here is how it should be and of course it's not like that because I completely mucked it up so you can see the gap compared to the fill so that's going to be wrong the other big thing that's now that's really frustrating and seems to be wrong is be, I'm putting on this back panel again sorry I'm hand holding it so there's a lot of moving things around um, but I'm putting on this back panel which is this piece here where I did earlier with the bar stuff on it and that bit there for the battery shelf is too wide it's going to be a massive gap now that could be my fault i don't know um from looking at the pictures i feel i'm going to just see if i can tip this this way so we can look at it a bit better all right that should be a good view um now i feel that i put this where i should have put this because it was trying to show it in the picture that it had to be even with these holes so that when you put this piece on it fits that way it will fit snugly I think I even put it in further than what the book says looking at the one with the steps and the bar it looks like it's right on the edge of the piece where mine is actually in a little bit so if I had brought that out further, this would have been sticking out even more. I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel that I've done it correctly, but that this is just a bit too wide and I really do not want to saw that down. It's sticking out that much. I'm just going to try and squish the back on it and be done with it. To be honest, I'm just a bit over this kit right now. I don't understand also why they would want you to put this thing here when it's not going to be really seen. I suppose it'll be seen from that way, but I've also put that on wrong. <laughs> I just noticed I put that on uh, the wrong way. Yeah, that's facing <laughs> the wrong way. That should have been uh, turned another 45 degrees. Sorry, another 90 degrees. Whatever. Don't care. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm really... I'm, I'm tempted to not even bother but I'll try and finish it the best I can so yeah sorry for this shaky camera I just had to show you the bits I was trying to refer to but let's try and finish it and see what we can get so here is the finished piece I will put up some better photos uh, to show it all there is Luna who came just at the end to see what it looks like so overall look it was a frustrating build for me maybe I was doing things wrong as I spoke of as I went through it um, I I know I did do a couple of things wrong where I put things on the wrong way around the backing part I just found really odd that it stuck out as much as it did when I'm damn sure I did what the instructions said that's it I mean it is a really pretty piece I will say that this is my first one so I'm probably a bit rougher and not as delicate with things as I should be so yeah it's a bit rough it's still pretty uh it's definitely got that homemade or home assembled <laughs> vibe to it because I was so rough 
but that is it i hope you enjoyed this video and um yeah let me know what you think of the kit have you done one of these uh, any tips tricks or things i did wrong yeah let me know i'd love to hear your thoughts so leave me a comment as always and if this is your first time watching my channel or if you've watched a few videos and you haven't done so yet please remember to subscribe and also like the video and if you're interested in supporting the channel further i do have a ko-fi and a patreon account set up and the details are up here on screen but that will do it for me for this video and for this kit so everybody no matter where you are please stay safe stay weird and i'll catch you in the next one